how did medical records from the Midlands Regional Hospital in Mullingar end up in a bin at the Roscommon County Hospital? Well, that's what the Data Commissioner's Office will have to figure out as it launches a full investigation and you'll hear from a spokesperson a little bit later. But first, let's find out more about the records themselves. The newspaper, The Roscommon People, has seen the documents and reporter Seamus Duke is with us. Seamus, you're welcome to the programme. Nice to talk to you again, Will. And you. So what's in the file, Seamus? Well, details of medical treatment received by patients uh, at uh, Mullingar General Hospital. That's what's in the files, really. And uh, there's the, the files of a lot of people uh, there. A couple of dozen people, I would say. So you'd have names, addresses, yes. treatments, sure the doctors they were attending. They I didn't uh, actually go through them now because naturally enough I wouldn't be able to read uh, medical records. But uh, they're there, there's names, and uh, they're specified and that sort of thing. And uh, they're definitely genuine. And how many did you estimate there were? I'd say there was, uh, I wouldn't know exactly now because uh, naturally enough, it, it, it's in the possession of the Hospital Action Committee, the HAC, as opposed to the HSE. But uh, the, um, the, I'd say a couple of dozen, I'd say, really. And how were they found in the first place? I presume somebody member, wasn't trawling through a bin. Well, a member of uh, the public uh, uh, noticed them in a bin a refuse bin outside the Scammon County Hospital, and they uh, brought them to a member of the Hospital Action Commission. There's a kind of a protest going on there nearly all the time, you know. There was a member of the Hospital Action Commission there, and this member of the public brought it to the attention of a member of the Hospital Action Commission, and they took it from there. And pr- reported it presu- presumably to either the HSE or the Data Protection Commissioner's Office. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Now, how they got to be there and... You know, I mean, why medical records from Mullingar would end up in a bin outside Roscommon County Hospital, I certainly don't know. And with the controversy that's going on, as you well know, over Roscommon County Hospital, it's kind of, you know, funny that it ended up, uh, that these records ended up there. But nevertheless, it doesn't matter how they ended up there. They shouldn't have been there anyway. It doesn't matter how they got there. Yeah, well, I mean, you assume your records will be kept safe, but there have been a lot of leaks in the last couple of weeks, the most bizarre being the records sent to somewhere in the Philippines, was it, for yeah. for transcribing? I was reading about that, yeah. I mean, it, it kind of proves that in this great technic- technological age that we have, I, I, I would say, venture to suggest, I know it's a, a different argument altogether, that nothing is safe now. Mm. Well, we've been uh, on to the HSE in the Midlands for a statement and they are waiting for the HSE West region to talk to them and nobody seems to have any answers so far. Have you heard anything official yet? No, we haven't heard anything official uh, whatsoever. The wheels uh, take a long time to turn in this regard. Uh, plus there's a lot of people in holidays this time of the year and uh, that sort of thing. But the, the, those official wheels, I mean, people are always afraid to say thing, anything. And uh, I mean, there's amount of bureaucratic red tape and rubbish that goes on with regard to these things. People are afraid to open their mouths or say anything in case they get into trouble. And you know that. I, I know it. I do the same job as you do. You ring people there and you're given the run around and eventually somebody will decide to say something if there's enough pressure put on them and it'll be bland and it'll be uh, something that will say uh, we're going to investigate it and we can't say anything else it and be fully investigated and all that sort of r- r- rubbish and it'll be swept under the carpet and that'll be the end of it. Mm. Well, in the meantime, maybe we should go around checking what else is in, in the bin. Seamus Duke, thanks very much for taking our call. Nice to talk to you. And you. Seamus Duke from the Ross Common People, the paper which has seen the documents which were literally found in a bin. They are medical records of patients who have attended the Midlands Regional Hospital in Mullingar. The Data Protection Commissioner's Office is going to launch a full investigation and in a few minutes' time, Gary Davis, the Deputy Data Commissioner, will be with us to tell you the structure of that investigation, how it will proceed and how they will try to find answers and also what possible exposure there could be if this information fell into the wrong hands. If you've got a comment, call Will now on 0818 300 103. 0818 300 103. Or text us 083 30 10 103. The Midlands Today Show with Will Faulkner. Midlands 103. Well, as you've been hearing, medical records from the Midlands Regional Hospital in Mullingar have been found in a bin at Roscommon County Hospital. 
The discovery was apparently made by a member of the local hospital action committee and includes records of names, addresses, treatments administered and so on. Gary Davis is the Deputy Data Commissioner based in Port Arlington. Gary, you're welcome to the programme. I will. What steps are taken in a situation like this? Um, well, first of all, uh, I suppose to, to, to be clear, uh, we've received a report from a member of the public um, whom we've asked to, to bring the records to us as we felt, given the, the, the nature of the circumstances there, the, the member of the public would have been reluctant to, to hand them into the hospital. They, they, they may or may not have been, but um, we asked would they give them to us. They have undertaken to do so, and we expect to receive the records later today. So obviously right now, um, I don't know what records are involved, if indeed there are any records um, that would constitute personal data under the Data Protection Act, but we have obviously received a report. But more than that, I just don't have the information to, to, to say. Um, I, I am uh, just missing the HSE this morning, um, uh, and they may have more to say to me, but, but for now I don't have any specifics. Generally... Mm. Well, the, the information we have been given, incidentally, suggests that patients' names and addresses, details of their medical conditions, names of their doctors and so on, yeah, well, well, that are contained con in the files. Yeah, well, that would constitute personal data and therefore would be, would be a data breach. The procedures where there's a data breach is that, the, um, in this instance, the HSC would notify our office um, we'd conduct an investigation. We've been doing that in relation to Tala, for instance, recently, which has garnered a lot of, of media attention that has been continuing. We engage with the, the, the hospital or the body in question. We, we seek to identify what went wrong, uh, which is, um, you know, a key thing, and we seek to ensure that measures are put in place to, to prevent it happening again. And obviously, uh, the other key point is that if people are identifiable from the records, and if they are in the bin or were in the bin, uh, you, they need to be told, and they need to be told uh, what the implications for them are so that they, 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 they can understand. Now, obviously, if something of that nature happened, it's disappointing because people, when they engage with a health facility, one of the, the basic things they expect is confidentiality. They, they expect that when they give information to a doctor or a health professional in, 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 a, in a health setting that it will be handled sensitively and uh, confidentially. Uh, and if that doesn't happen, then people uh, become concerned about engaging with, with the health services and that benefits none of us uh, because doctors are not being given the information that they actually need to treat, to treat us because people are worried that it will fall into the wrong hands. So that's why this sort of thing, I suppose, is, is taken seriously by members of the public, is taken seriously mm. by, by the media and is obviously taken seriously by our office. Well, given the potential crisis of confidence it could create, you have to examine what has already happened. We've heard of unencrypted laptops, for instance, falling into the wrong hands. Yeah. Uh, medical records transcribed thousands of miles away. Now this, is the HSE, in your opinion, doing enough to protect the personal data of its patients? Well, I can say that only in the uh, past couple of days uh, we have been in contact with the CEO of the HSE in relation to, to that protection matters and we have received a firm undertaking and commitment in relation to steps uh, which the HSC is taking to improve matters in that area. And I, I think the HSC itself in, in past instances has admitted that uh, things are not as it would wish to be in this area and has actually uh, substantially improved the situation from, from, from a couple of years back where, where, where we had a, an epidemic of, of laptop type incidents. There, there have been a few little little things more, more recently and um, in, it's in that context that we've, we've received this high level undertaking from the HSC of its commitment and we'll be engaging with them uh, over the next while. So they are, they are engaged. So from a public's perspective, my, my assumption is that this is an isolated incident and um, the HSC is concerned about these sort of things, does put resources into it. We, 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 we engage with them on a, on a daily basis in relation to improvements. They're happy to engage with us. Uh, but obviously, given the nature of, of, of the HSC, uh, you know, 100,000 employees, etc., you're always going to have things happening. Um, you know, one would still not expect, if it is true, things to, to, to end up in a bin. Um, because, you know, nobody would do that. Even people in, in, at home these days take great, great care about shredding bills, etc. So certainly nobody would expect information to end up in a bin. Now, of course, we don't know how it got there. Mm. But, but does it, can I ask you, it. does it strike you as unusual, Gary, that 
the files of patients being treated in one hospital should... Uh, emergency services at, at Roscommon. Um, and, you know, obviously these are things which, which, which would have to be examined in the context of, of why this has happened and how they managed to transfer uh, 30 miles to, to somewhere else. So, you, you know, the, the, whole, the whole issue and incident seems unusual to me. But again, I, I know just about it at this stage. I only know as much uh, as, as you do. And in fact, you seem to know a little bit more than me uh, at this point uh, in relation to the records because I haven't seen them. Um, and we just have a very basic report from, from, from this member of the public who's undertaken to, to come to our office later in the day and provide us with the records. So I'll know more then and probably be up to speed uh, the same as yourselves. Speaking of the flow of information, obviously you have procedures to follow. Uh, journalists will investigate it, but there will be a set of patients attending the Midlands yeah. Regional Hospital in Mullingar now yeah. who are wondering how yeah. exposed they may have been by yeah. this. When will they get answers? Um, well, you know, we, we'll get the records later today. Uh, I've already had contact from, from, from the, the senior person responsible for these things in the HSE West this morning. Um, uh, so they are engaged. Um, in the past, they have shown themselves able to move very quickly to, to inform people. We need to look at it with the HSE. We'll need to see what the real risk to people was here, but the, the fact is people will need to be told uh, as if it was in a bin, it would certainly constitutes a, a, a loss of control over personal data. We need to trace back, obviously, and see how they got there, and then try and work out what, what the real risk to people was. The, the real risk in terms of their information being used for some um, uh, malicious purpose is, is, is likely very low. Um, clearly, so that, that shouldn't be a point of concern to people, but it's the, it's the confidence issue and trying to reassure people what happened from the time, if that is the case, they, they, they left the Midlands um, in, in Mullingar and ended up in, in Roscommon, where were they, what happened to them. If that's what happened, as I say, and again, we just don't know that at present. Okay, but the onus to inform the affected patients the falls HSC. to the HSE. Oh, it does, yeah, and they will do it. Uh, if 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 this if this does turn out as to be reported in the media, the HSE will do it. They have a track record of doing it, um, and I have no concern in relation to that. Gary Davis, Deputy Data Commissioner, thank you very much for no taking problem. our Thanks call this morning. Gary is based in Port Arlington. Those files will be making their way to his office, and the investigation will begin in earnest at that stage. So the HSE, as you've heard, is. Uh, obliged to inform you if you have been affected, if you are a patient at the Midlands Regional Hospital in Mullingar. But the likelihood of those files or that information being used for any sinister purpose is quite low.